Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Intermountain Sports Network. This is Larry Cecil along with Justin Holbrook. And tonight, the boys' version of the 58th District Tournament coming to you from Lawrence County High School. In tonight's first game, we have Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane, victor both times they played this year. And actually, the, the last district game of the season at Betsy Lane was the one that wrapped up the number one seed for the Bobcats as uh, they beat Prestonsburg at home 68-54, Justin. Yeah, that um, Prestonsburg <clears throat> played pretty good throughout the year, but uh, Betsy Lane, they were one and two in the district to start off and kind of yeah. finish with three wins in a row to uh, share the title with Floyd Central, and they had the point differential over Floyd Central. So uh, they're the one seed tonight and looking to get back to the regional tournament. I mean, they've got as good a start in five as there is in the region, really. I mean, top to bottom. So, um, But Prestonsburg's playing better, so uh, hopefully they can um, kind of hang on. And, uh, I think the two times that you uh, this year, uh, Prestonsburg, we uh, that was going to have that was kind of early into the season uh, at Prestonsburg, hit 62 52, and then at Lane, uh, what they play, 68 54. So, for example, scores one was a four point win, one was a four point win. And you know, uh, in the old former coach himself, uh, yeah, 10 and a three point win, just uh, a few things could go different in that game, one way or the other, and that could be a few uh, open on to the press tonight. So, yeah, look for this to be a very uh, competitive game. And most teams know that, uh, you know, you lose, you go home. So, uh, yeah, it will be a heavy contest. Well, if you remember both of those teams, too, Betsy Lane was out uh, over 20 points in both of those games. And, and Prestonburg kind of came back and made a game out of it. So, that's the kind of film you want to go back and look at and see. You know, what were we doing during yes. that time frame that, you know, we were, because, I mean, they helped score bet line there probably at the end of the both of those games. Well, uh, they and, themselves such a hole they couldn't get out. In the Prestonsburg game, especially uh, when they was at Prestonsburg, Betsy Lane was 18. If you remember, yeah. they cut it to the yeah. yeah. And Betsy Lane got it to extend it back out and uh, finally held serve the rest of the game and end up with the 10-point win. But after night, Prestonsburg cut it to seven. Uh, it stayed right around the same eight, ten yeah. points for the rest of the game. So, yeah, if you're Prestonburg, that's the kind of game film you're looking at. You know, that, that little piece of, you know, what did we do wrong to put ourselves in that situation, or what did we do right to get back in it? So, hopefully, um, I, I'm sure it's going to happen. I mean, we watched two games last night. Uh, and, I mean, we'll keep the for everybody, I feel like, at the beginning. I think you're right. Of course, Betsy Lane's got the, the number 24 in the state. And Brady Robinson averages 24 points a game, of course, uh, there at uh, Belfry a couple of games before the end of the season. Uh, he went for uh, 59 uh, against Belfry and uh, broke the 2,000-point uh, total for his career. Had a, had a huge night that night there at Betsy Lane. So, uh, I didn't get to see that, but you witnessed it for 59 point out uh, break. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, – I mean, it was a, a special night. He was just really um, dominating. I mean, he was hitting three-pointers, free throws. He had four dunks in the game. So, uh, he was really playing uh, – really playing well. It's the best time I've ever seen uh, him play, and that's the best individual performance I've ever seen. Yes. Well, we're going to take a short break, and when we will return for pregame, it's Lane and Prestonsburg get set for the opening game of the Bullet Creek Day District Tournament right here on the Intermountain Sports Day. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything. 
to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit gearheartsecurity.com to learn more. You're on the move every day, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your account. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no lie. Get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience fast and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. I'm Jennifer Brooks, and I've been a Stripe Farming for over 20 years here at Stripe. We offer all the products and services. All the services of the Stripe Farming while being serviced by a licensed staff in a friendly and interesting environment. If you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product, our commitment is to you, our client. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Parkview Pharmacy and Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We also Candleberry offer Candles, RX flavor Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606. We also Candleberry offer Candles, RX flavor Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Christine Valerie and all the friendly a. staff Give us a call at 606. We also offer RX flavor Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Christine Valerie and all the friendly staff at Berkeley Pharmacy. Give us a call at 606. We also offer RX flavor Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Christine Valerie and all the friendly staff at Berkeley Pharmacy. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Benny Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Mark County Sports Park. If you're interested in guns, bushcrafts, hunting, fishing, homes, Prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like for full terms and conditions. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. All right, back here at Lawrence County where we're about five minutes to go before the tip of the boys 58th district tournament. And um, it, pulling in out front, uh, we're going to have a good crowd tonight. Uh, I think so. Both games, you know. Yes. And, you know, by the time the about the third quarter rolls around, it's going to be packed yeah, because I you got the teams or the fans coming in for the next game. You're right. And the hangovers, it's going to be uh, – I mean, this is what tournament basketball is all about for sure. We'll go over some stats, uh, season stats for these two teams. Betsy Lane comes in 18-9. and nine. They was the number one seed in the 58th district. Lead in scoring for Brady Robinson with 24 points. Andrew Kidd chipping in eight points a game, 18 points a game, excuse me. And then Cameron Pente, Byron Tackett, and Carter Parsons comes in right at eight points a game. Rebound-wise, Andrew Kidd, uh, eight, point, eight rebounds a game. Byron uh, Tackett uh, gets about six. Uh, Betsy Lane shooting it. 46% uh, from the field, 30 behind three-point line, and 71 from the foul line. That's good. That's very good from the free throw line. Yes. Um, for Prestonsburg, they shoot it at 48% from the field, 33 from three, and only 59 from the free throw line. So hopefully that uh, doesn't come back to bite them. 
They are led in scoring by Braxton Keithley at 14 points a game, Connor Napier at 11, Brian Halbert at 9, Caden Allen and Caleb Lawson both at 8, and 5 for Mason Stidham. And I saw Grant Varney. I think Grant may be playing tonight. Can't catch an eye on him right now, but uh, he's played. He's been out in and out of the lineup. Yeah. So. All year. Yeah. Uh, Rebounding-wise, seven rebounds a game for Connor Napier, four apiece for Caden Allen, Brian Halbert, and Grant Barney, and three apiece for Braxton Keithley, West Salisbury, and Mason Stidham. Um, Prestonsburg's got the depth. I mean, right. I feel they're a lot deeper than Betsy Lane, but um, – it, it, how are you going to match up with Andrew Kidd and Brady Robinson? Well, that's, that's what everybody has to face. A nice I mean. inside-outside touch. Yeah. Of course, Andrew can step outside, yeah. Yeah. shoot behind the three-point line, and Brady can go down low and post up also. So it's going to be a tough matchup uh, for the Black Cats. This yes. 58th District Tournament is brought to you by Community Trust Bank, Appalachian Wireless, HPT Physical Therapy, Tim Short, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep Round, Howard Family Pharmacy, Gearhart uh, Security, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, Intermountain Cable, Nature's Pantry Foods and Aftershock Preparedness, Coalfields Telephone, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Clayton Holmes of Bristol, Parkway Pharmacy, John Greer Hunt, Kentucky Farm Bureau. So we appreciate all those sponsors for us to be here with us uh, all week. Um, we are going out tonight on WPRG TV Channel 5, HD 105, also Foothills Cable. You can see that on Channel 92. Catch us on the radio on WXKZ 105.3. Also live streaming Facebook, YouTube, WPRG website. And also, if you've got the WPRG TV app, download it out of the app store. You can also catch the games on that tonight. And as always, if you're watching on Facebook, we encourage you to let us know where you're rooting from and who you're rooting for. And right now, we've got our old buddy Kurt Stamper from Knott County tuning in. Robbie Roberts out of Sevierville, Tennessee, and also Savannah Moore with us from Berea. So we're going to take a short break, and when we return, we'll have the starting lineups of the night's game. Betsy Lane, Prestonsburg, getting ready to do battle right here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Take the short drive to satisfaction to Tim Short Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hyundai in Pikeville for your next car, truck, or SUV. Now offering lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles and lifetime engine warranty on pre-owned vehicles. Over 300 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock and six franchises in one location. Don't forget our pre-owned superstore at the entrance of Pikeville Walmart. With options for all credit situations, we can get you financed. View our inventory at timshortcdjrofpikeville.com. With Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearheartfiber.com to find out more. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? 
Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we're committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Largay, the corn tops ripe and the meadows in the bloom while the birds make music all the day the young folks roll on the little cabin floor all merry all happy and bright bye bye hard times come a knocking at the in my old Kentucky home, good night. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky. That's a dandy. Miss Belinda Feltner with the National Anthem and my old Kentucky home and great job. Yeah. <clears throat> she's um, she's good at two things. She <laughs> is. She, she can sing and coach. If you didn't recognize her, uh, as Justin said, the head coach for the Lawrence County Lady Bulldogs and mother of Kinsley Feltner, the number one scorer in the state. <laughs> yeah. And we're about ready now for our starting lineups. Pittsburgh Black Cats versus the Betsy Wayne Bobcats. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. First for Prestonsburg. Number one, Connor Napier. Number four, Brian Albert. Number five, Caden Allen. Number
Number 14, Wes Salisbury. And number 32, Braxton Keithley. The Black Hats are coached by Chase Parsley. And now for the Betsy Lane Bobcats. Number zero, Carter Parsons. Number five, Andrew Kidd. Number 22, Byron Tackett. Number four, Cameron Pente. And number 10, Brady Robinson. The Bobcats are coached by Derek Newsom. And the anthem's been sung. My old Kentucky home's been sung. The lineup has been announced, and we're ready for basketball here in Lawrence County. He's got his rope. Yeah, I got, I got my candy. I apologize, yeah. my voice doesn't sound very good tonight. And Justin's got his Rolos. <laughs> um, I, I'm a little, I swear, just watching the start lineups, I get a little nervous myself, just thinking about all the times I was over there on that side, and being the four seed and the one seed. Now, are you thinking about the times you used to be over there or the times you'd like to be over there? Oh, yeah, well. Man, I don't know if I'd want to be over there right now or not. <laughs> Depends how the night goes. Andrew Kidd, Caden Allen stepping in, balls in the air, and Betsy Lane controls it. Brady Robinson. Looks like they're going to go man to man. And tack it with a quick three, no good. Rebound Prestonsburg. Number 14, that's Wes Salisbury with it. Betsy Lane opening it up in a 2 3 zone. Salisbury working, comes cross court over to Caden Allen. Allen works over to Keithley. And everything's been outside the arc yeah. right now. Betsy Lane putting some, a lot of pressure out front. Very Keithley's aggressive Keithley's looking for Ooh, some help. He got away with the wall. And Allen loses it. Robinson comes up with it. It's 2 on one Robinson to the bucket. Shot up, no good. Foul called, and Robinson will go to the line for two as that foul will go against Halbert. Halbert, Brian Halbert. you got to stop Brady uh, before he gets loose. Can't let him get in the open court like that. And he makes the first free throw. He'll have the second one. Also good. 2 nothing, Betsy Lane. And the Bobcats are picking up, you know, 2-2-1 two, two, full-court pressure now. Here's Salisbury with it. Goes across it over to Halbert. And Halbert breaks it on the dribble, gets it down in the corner. Keithley, three, count it. It's a good start. Prestonsburg goes on top, 3-2. Pente with a mask uh, uh, yeah. on tonight. Uh, didn't know. Uh, yeah, had, not sure about that story. Didn't know that. But. See if that affects his shooting any. Sometimes it can. Here's a drive down the lane. Parsons showed up. No good. Battle for the rebound inside. Parsons comes up with no. He said he stepped out of bounds. It's going to go to Prestonsburg. Nice battle down low on the yeah. uh, free throw attempt. A lot of you are watching out of Michigan. Our old buddy Richie Tackett also watching. Prestonsburg trying to break the press now as Keefe has it, and here it is, stolen. And foul on Halbert, uh, excuse uh, me, uh, Salisbury. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I thought they uh, could give him an intentional yeah. on that. Looked like they grabbed him by the arm, but just going to, and on the floor. Just to be on the floor. Good so foul. Here it comes in. Kid, turnaround, comes up short. And battle for the rebound, and they're going to get Tackett for the over to the back. So a little bit of a rugged start down on yeah. this end. Yeah, I think Andrew lost it on his way up. 
three to two Prestonsburg. Working against the press of Betsy Lane. Here's Salisbury with it. And now he gets across the court. Hold it down the lane. Little runner up. No good. Rebound comes off Parson. Got to have those. Got to have those. You're exactly right. You break that press, you got to make them pay. You got to make them pay. And that was just like a yeah. front a of rim four yeah. footer just about. Yeah, that's a layup. Here's Tackett with it for Betsy Lane in the corner. Out to Parson. Back to Tackett, looking inside for Kidd. Halbert, that, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, that was uh, Halbert on him. Here's Robinson, three, top the circle, too long. And uh, Pressburg comes off the rebound. Salisbury with it. Being harassed in the backcourt, and they got pinned Tay mm. with the foul. Wasn't a whole lot there, it didn't look like. No, that, um, you know, last night in the first game, it was a little bit of a tight whistle to start yes. as well. Here is Halbert trying to get it in, and he throws it in, and nice play at yeah. time by Allen. Just taps it over to Keithley, or that would have been another turnover. Down low, Napier, Ooh. and he's blocked. Not Tackett sure. comes up with the rebound. It should have been a... And nice uh, defense that time by number one, Connor Napier, or Pente would have been open on the baseline. Not sure that wasn't a jump ball down there. You yeah. could go all the way up and back down. Right. Good defense by Byron. Here's Parsons. Gets it in. Kidd puts it up and in between two. Prestonsburg Black Cats and Betsy Lane retakes the lead 4-3. Having trouble getting it in and got the five-second call. And Prestonsburg's wanting a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. No, they've been at the ball maybe four times, and they've struggled all four times. They have. I mean, they, they probably got to three or four seconds each time. So, And a couple times they probably got seven or eight seconds yeah, across the yeah, timeline. Yeah. 456, well, five minutes now they changed it. I, I I looked up the clock when they called timeout. It's it five, five, and it run a little further. But five minutes left here in the first quarter, four or three. Betsy Lane leading Prestonsburg, and Betsy Lane will have it out of the timeout as Prestonsburg turned it over. That's two or three turnovers already for Prestonsburg. Yes, I've got two, but I didn't count the the block. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Well, they didn't count it as a jump ball, right. so I guess you can just yeah. say it a block and a rebound, maybe. Yeah. Here's Parsons looking to get it in, brings it into Pente. They'll give it to Robinson. Robinson looking, gives it to Kidd, breaking across the middle, heavy pressure on him, but to the bucket, Pente off the glass and in. Nice drive by yeah. Pente, and they seem to be uh, looking a lot of pressure on Kidd and Robinson, yeah. so Parsons or Pente or Tackett's going to have to pick some slack up, I think, here. Prestonburg breaks the press, gets it in the corner, Keithley for three, no. Rebound comes off Brady Robinson. On the move, down the right side, cut off, into the corner. Pente driving the baseline, comes over to Parsons in the corner. He had outside the three-point line. Parsons, three, comes up short. Pressenberg the rebound. That's Allen with it. Now they bring it out. Barney. Number two in the lineup, Barney that's Grant the Barney. I don't think he played the last time these he did. two teams played. Here's Keithley. Long three, top of the circle, good. It's two of them. <laughs> We're tied at six. Restenburg putting some pressure on, but Betts Lane breaks it, and then Barney's going to be called yeah. for the foul on the drive by Andrew Kidd. He got his hands on him. If you do that with your body, you're probably okay. But if you put your hands up there, they're going to get you. Three team fouls for Prestonsburg as we've got uh, number two, Tanner Martin, into the game for Betsy Lane in place of Tackett. Here's Robinson. Lost his footing. Gary gained Ooh. himself and <laughs> turned around on the baseline. Nothing you can do with that. No. 8-6, Betsy Lane. Here's Salisbury breaking the press. Down low. Napier puts it up and in. 
And Salisbury comes up a little lane. I think he stepped on somebody's ankle, and he's limping a little bit. He's going to go to the bench, and they'll bring number 11, Caleb Lawson, in in his place. We're tied at eight. 3.20 left here, first quarter. Parsons in the front court for Betsy Lane. Pente, long three, no good. And Prestonsburg doing a good job on the yes, boards right they now. they are. Here's Keithley with it, and he loses it out of bounds. Turnover. Yeah, Betsy Lane only one offensive rebound, and that was on the first possession of the game. Yes. Betsy Lane will have it side out in the backcourt. It'll come into Pente. Into the front court, he'll come over to Parson. Rissenberg trying to trap in that half court when they first get it across the line. Here's Robinson with it. Works it over to Kidd. Spin move on the baseline. Put it up. No good. Rebound Pente. Floater. No good. Rebound comes off Caden Allen. And here's Keithley and... Knocked out of bounds by Robinson. It's going to stay with Prestonsburg. And Tackett's coming in the lineup for Parsons for Betsy Lane. We're tied at eight. 2.35 left first quarter. And here's the ball knocked loose, but Barney was able to dig it out. Kicks it back in the corner to Allen. Keithley on top, gives it over to Varney. Varney looking for help. Caleb Lawson on the drive in the corner. Three in the air, count it. Caden Allen. That's their third three-pointer. 11-8. Prestonsburg with the lead. Tackett gets it into Pente. Pente into the front court over to Robson. Robson driving the baseline, and he's going to be fouled. Barney. Be two. That's his second. That's four team yeah, fouls. Four. Yeah. Comes in Tanner Martin. Andrew Kidd on the drive, stop, pops, no good. Battle for the rebound Ooh. off Prestonsburg. Yep. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane, and that was Napier. Good, uh, good, good hustle in there by Tanner Martin. Yes. I think he's the one tipped it, and it went off the Prestonsburg player. Here's Robinson with it, driving the baseline. Shot Shoot. up and good. Oh, wow. I think he might be on tonight. Yeah. That's two tough shots. 11-10, Prestonsburg, 135 left. Ball tipped from behind, and then a late whistle. Robinson called for the foul. Yeah, definitely a late whistle, but I think he got it. Though. Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> Clock rest, 135 left here, first quarter. Prestonsburg leads by one, 11-10. Here's Salisbury looking for some help. Gives it over to Allen, drives the baseline. His pass is intercepted. Martin with it. Robinson stops three in the air. No good. Hayden Allen with the rebound. Here's Keithley into the corner. Lawson three. No good. Betsy Lane Robinson on the move. And got stripped on the way to the bucket. Keithley comes up with it for Betsy or for Prestonburg and hits the floater. And it's 13-10, Prestonsburg, under a minute, first quarter. Betsy Lane working. Here's Kitt, spin move. Good pass. Drops it off to Martin down low. Beautiful pass. And Tanner Martin puts it up and in. On the other end, great hustle by Byron Tackett knocking it out of bounds. I feel like that's going to be there for Andrew and uh, Brady both. 
Yeah, People I think get caught standing, watching them make a move. Got a uh, viewer uh, letting us know that the reason that Pente's wearing the mask uh, against uh, Belfry, he got his nose broke. I remember that now. 13 he 12. Went out. And here's Prestonsburg running it into the backcourt. Keithley with it. On the move, Pente guarding Keithley. And wow, it looks like a double dribble. Yeah. And they finally got him. That's their fifth turnover. We've got 18 seconds. Bates Lane will have a chance to work for the last shot. Prestonsburg trying to trap at the half court. They get it in, hit nine seconds. Kid with it. Robinson open for the three. And they called him for the walk. Should have went through with the shot. Yeah, good defense that time, but lost him. Coming around the screen and yeah, Prestonsburg, yeah. Yeah, got to go up just a little quicker with it. He act like he hesitated trying to get yeah. his feet under him. 4.7 seconds. Prestonsburg <laughs> got it. Here is Salisbury. And he's going to throw one up. No, and at the end of one, the Black Cats 13, Bobcats 12. We'll be back with the second quarter action this year in the Mountain Sports Network. Rentals, and I've been a state firm agent for over 20 years here at Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a state firm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Back here at Lawrence County, 13 to 12, Prestonsburg on top. Um, like you said, off the air, Blight living by the three. Got yep. three of them. They got three in the first first quarter. Two by Keithley and one by Allen. Folks, those are uh, a couple of the three-point shooters. Of course, you've got to skin them off the bench, can hit them also. Yes. Prestonsburg will have it to start this second quarter. Here's Salisbury with it. There's Napier, Keithley, top to circle three, no good. Rebound Robson. Gets it up to Kidd on the move to the bucket and hits block, but a foul called. Two shots for Andrew Kidd. See who's got the foul, and I think Keithley got that one, and he did. Yeah. That's something you got to look at there. Five team fouls for Freshburg already, also. Yes. Andrew Kidd will have two. First one rattles in, and we're tied at 13. Kid will have one more. And that one's nothing but nylon. 14-13, Betsy Lane, and they, again, they'll put that pressure on. Brisbane having trouble and throws it away. Parsons with it. Kid in the corner on the drive, kicks it back out to Parsons. Down Good low, pass. attack it, puts it up, and one. Good pass, Carter. Great pass. Freshman making that pass. Yeah. Looked him off and just found him. And that foul is going to go against number three into the lineup. Stidham. Matt, uh, Mason Stenham, and that was a quick uh, yes. few minutes for him as we've got Brian Halbert back in for Stenham. That's lane. By three, make it four as Tackett makes the free throw, and it's 
Betsy Lane on a 5-0 run here to start this quarter. Almost got another one. Yeah, it's a struggle for him right now. And here's the steal, Robinson. It's going to be one-on-one. Him and Salisbury, and it's another and one attempt for Betsy Lane. Robinson will be at the line trying to complete the three-point play. 7-0 seven, seven run to start the quarter. Yes. And Robinson free throw is good. Make it eight. Got Grant Barney back in the lineup for Prestonsburg. He comes in with two fouls, right? Yes. Yeah, you think uh, you went from up one to down seven. You're on the ropes now. Yes. It's pressure. 20 to 13 and going to get Parsons on the foul. Be his first. Betsy Lane's fourth. 7-20 here first half. 20 to 13, Betsy Lane. Pente just about a half a step late on that one. Here's Keithley. Floater in the lane, up a good. He came to play. 20 to 15, Betsy Lane with the lead. Here's Parsons. In to end, puts it up and in. Never stopped the dribble, and Parsons just weaved through traffic. Found himself open at the goal. Yeah, I think that was uh, Keithley's man because he was trailing him. And Keithley again in the lane with the floater, no good. Kid comes up with it. Comes over to Parsons. On the move to the bucket again. And, oh, called him for the charge. <clears throat> That'd be his second. Look, um, looked like he had that sidestep enough to get the body around him to yeah. be able to draw the block. Yeah, not a lot of... Not a lot of direct contact. Yes. Most time, if you turn your body and uh, don't hit them square, you're not, not going to get back to the defensive player. On the other end, uh, Napier misses it, gets his own rebound, and a foul's going to be called to see who to get. To get Byron. I think Byron Tackett. That's who it's going to be. And it's going to be two shots, Connor Napier. Both teams in the bonus now, too. Byron's got two and Carter Parsons with two. Yes. A lot of time left. A lot of time left, 637. And Napier's free throw bounces off. What's Prestonsburg shoot it as a team from the uh, free throw line? 59. 59%. Napier's second one up and also no good. Board's cleared by Pente. The little man gets a lot of rebounds. He does. Can't take with it in the front court on the drive to the circle. Gets it over to Martin, fumbled it, picks yeah. it up, and then called for the walk. I think he doubled before he walked. Yes, I think so. <laughs> but he, he, he him... fumbled the ball on yeah. the pass. If he had caught it clean, it would have been open for the layup. Here's Pressenberg, and ball's kicked by Tanner Martin. It lets him set this defense up, too. Martin in the game now for Parsons, as by, uh, as Justin said, uh, he had the uh, picked up his second foul. There's Halbert with it into the front court. Keithley, long three, no good. And rebound. Tanner Martin up high with the yeah. rebound. Brady Robinson on the drive to the bucket and blocked. Yep, Napier not quite as lucky that time. And Parsons will be at the line. He'll shoot two. Uh, excuse me, it's Robinson at the line shoot two. 22-15, Betsy Lane with the lead. And Robinson's free throw comes up short. Their first miss. They were six for six. 6 4 left here in the first half. Drops the second one is on the mark. 23-15 matches their largest lead at eight. Might be their largest lead. Yeah, I, think I think they had one is. at seven, wasn't it? Yeah. Restensburg, there's Barney down the lane. Floater off the glass and in. Grant Barney. He'd be a big lift for the Black yes. Cats if he'd be able to stay in the game here tonight. Here's Tanner Martin. Gets it over to Tackett. Three. And still bouncing, no good. 
Rebound comes off Caden Allen on the move, down the lane, stops, pops, good. Didn't stop him, let him drive within six foot of the bucket, and he just puts it in. The yeah, most important man is the man with the ball. Exactly. 23-19 now. Prestonburg cut that eight-point lead down to four. Robinson with it for Betsy Lane. Gets a nice screen, pulls up for the three. No good. And Kid couldn't control it, but Byron Tackett did, puts it up and in. Here's Keithley on the move. Nice. Throws it over Hobart. He misses it. Put back by Keithley. No good. Kid comes out. Got Betsy Lane's those. got numbers. Tackett. Down the lane yep. and will be yep. called for the uh, charge. That's three on Byron. Yeah. Yeah, he was waiting on him. Well, you see him waiting on him. What do you do? Yeah, you, you got to pull up. You got to check gotta, up, shoot the, yeah. shoot the little bank shot. And if you don't want to shoot it, you got to dribble back out. Yes. And just, I mean, because he was waiting. I mean, that was the easiest call all night. And that's going to be his third, and Isaiah Allen comes in for him. He's played well. So, Betsy Lane right now with two starters on the bench, one with three fouls, one with two. Here's Prestonburg getting it in. And Allen down the lane again off the glass and in. 25-21. He's got seven. Pente with it in the front court. Into the corner, Allen. Robinson drives, has it knocked loose, gets it back to the bucket. Shot up, no good. Allen with the rebound, goes up, and he's fouled. And good work on the board yes. that time by, Preston, uh, by Betsy Lane. You get number one. Yeah, Napier. Yeah, and that's his third, I think. All right, that's his second. Okay. I, I thought he said his third. That's nine team fouls. Allen's free throw, no good. He'll get one more. It's 425 left here, first half, 25-21, Betsy Lane. Allen's second went up and good. We're going to see what kind of bench both these teams yeah. has, I think, uh, here tonight. Here's Keithley, three, comes up short. Battle for the rebound, Robinson comes out with it. And nice over the shoulder pass to Martin up and good, Tanner Martin. And Betsy Lane back for seven, 28-21. There's Barney, he breaks it. And good defense that time yes. by Kidd as he forced Barney to shoot it high off the glass. Couldn't make it, but out of bounds off of Robinson, the Black Cats will keep it. They trail for seven with 358 left here in the first half. And comes in to Napier, and he makes the Ooh. move, misses it. Allen comes out, excuse me, at Barney, and gets it over to Keithley up and in. And we've got a full timeout. 3.50 left, first half. Betsy Lane for five. This is your Random Mountain Sports Network. Parkview Pharmacy in Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. Take the short drive to satisfaction to Tim Short Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hyundai in Pikeville for your next car, truck, or SUV. Now offering lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles and lifetime engine warranty on pre-owned vehicles. Over 300 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock and six franchises in one location. Don't forget our pre-owned superstore at the entrance of Pikeville Walmart. With options for all credit situations, we can get you financed. View our inventory at timshortcdjrofpikeville.com. Out of the timeout, 28 to 23, Betsy Lane on top. Got some good action there. Boy, I tell you, and what, just what we expected tonight, too. Betsy Lane, Robinson gets it in the front court, Pente. Comes back over to Robinson. Free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound comes off to Halbert for Prestonsburg, and Prestonsburg uh, 
probably out rebounding Betsy Lane right now pretty even, I'd say. Yeah, 14 to 10, Betsy Lane on top right now, but a lot of those are offensive rebounds for Betsy Lane at the same play. Here's Varney. Allen guarding him. Varney gets loose. Allen out of the corner for the three. No good. Robinson Ooh. high <laughs> in the air. Napier thought he had that one, and yeah. next thing you know, yeah. the ball disappeared. Yeah. Kid topped the circle three too long. And again, Prestonsburg with the rebound. Varney into the corner here to go. That's Keithley with it. Looking for help. Gets it back over to Varney. Varney drives back. Keithley, three. No good. Napier shot, no good, but he's going to be fouled. Andrew Kidd. And right now, Prestonsburg just out to yeah. working Betsy Lane on the boards. The first on Andrew. 18 fouls. This will be two shots by Napier, and he missed his first two, right? Yeah, missed the first two. The only two. The only two Prestonsburg's had. And misses again three straight lawson coming in for Bates, or excuse me for prestonsburg as halbert will get a seat napier have one more and gets this one to fall 28 24 betsy lane 245 left into the front court pente into the corner allen Gets it over to Kidd. He's double teamed. Tries to go up. Loses it. Prestonsburg with it. Varney. Still on the dribble. Looking for help. Gets it out. Lawson for three. Oh. oh. Halfway down. Comes yes. out. Tanner Martin off the rebound. Betsy Lane with numbers. And Pente shot no good. He's going to be, be fouled by Varney. And that's yep. going to be his third. Should be three. Yep. If you're Varney, you got to let that go. Yes. I mean, you just got to give up two points. Yeah, it's a four-point game. Pente challenged him and got the better end of it. Free throw up and falls for Cameron Pente. And you've got Wes Salisbury coming back into the game for Prestonsburg for Varney. 219 left first half, beats him lane by five. Pente can make it six with the make and comes up short. Prestonsburg, Allen, Keithley, and might have got away with the walk. Yeah. Nothing caught. And Tanner Martin with the rebound, taking it down the lane. He oh. loses it. Kid picks it up. Wow. Oh, man. Got a call foul there. Wow. Both arms. Oh, my gosh. And then oh, down man. the other end, get very rugged. Yeah. And it's going to be out of bounds staying with Prestonsburg. That's about three blatant. Oh, and you're not seeing a, a foul no more than that tonight. No, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I like to see him play, but I mean, you know, yeah. there's a limit to it. Here's Hobart. Kicks it in the corner to Lawson. He drives it. Oh, Runner man. in the lane. No good, and he's fouled. And then you get that. I yeah, mean, that's, that's right. Ooh. ooh. Got Lawson there for two. 29-24, Betsy Lane, and Lawson makes it. Parsons coming back in for Allen. And Stenham will return to line up for Prestonsburg. Carter with two, and Byron Taggett with three. Barney with three on Prestonsburg. Yeah. In. Lawson makes them both. It's a three-point game, 29-26. And how many would that add if it had been caught? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On both ways, not just yeah. Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane, too. Boy, that was a bullet pass. <laughs> yeah, lucky. That he, wasn't a turnover. He had just kindly knocked that one down. And down low, they go Tanner Martin. Pente Robinson. He drives, elbow jumper up and in. Brady Robinson hadn't heard from him for a while. 31-26. Five-point lead, Betsy Lane. 108 left here in the first half. Salisbury on the drive. Kicks it in the corner. Out to Keithley. Three, yes. 31-29. Prestonsburg trails for two. 
Under a minute to go here in the first half. Keithley with the three threes. It's huge. Here's Robinson from Benson Lane over to Pente. Back to Robinson. Pente has it. And I don't know how you're not calling that. You know, that's an, yeah. You know, where, where's the whistle yeah. guy? Betts Lane just throwing it around looking for, for the last shot. Pente dribbling over and close to the timeline down in the corner. He'll go to Parsons. He comes out on top now. Ten seconds to go. Parsons, somebody's got to go with it in the corner. Pente, three. No good. And going to be a foul called. Over the back on Kidd, no, on uh, Martin, and Prestonburg will go to the line and have a chance to tie it. Two point three seconds left. Salisbury at the line for two. His team trails by two. Misses the first. He I have one more. Double bonus. Salisbury eyes the bucket, puts it up, makes it. 31 30. Here's a long shot. No good. At the horn. We're at the half. 31 30. Betsy Lane by one over Prestonsburg. We'll see you back at the station and be back with some halftime stats and comments. It's the Inner Mountain Sports Network. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. With Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearhartFiber.com to find out more. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV. Powered by Gearhart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. 
Buying a home. It's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here at Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like full terms. Welcome back to Lawrence County, Kentucky, as we're at the half tonight's first game of the boys' 58th district tournament. And Betsy Lane with one point lead over Prestonsburg, 31 30. And Justin, we've seen both teams uh, get some players in some foul trouble in that first half. Yeah, that's a uh, <clears throat> very difficult first half to watch. I mean, it was uh, a little ticky tacky, uh, let some stuff go. A little bit of both, but, you know, if you're the players, you just can't put yourself in those situations. Uh, Grant Barney with three, Connor Napier with two, Parsons with two, Byron Taggett with three. So yes. you got some issues um, out there. So uh, for Prestonsburg, scoring-wise, uh, Braxton Keithley with 15 points, three for Connor Napier, Caden Allen with seven, two for Caleb Lawson, Two for Mason Stidham and one for West Salisbury. Uh, had him with 14 rebounds, three of them offensive, and seven turnovers. For Betsy Lane, had him with six turnovers, 17 rebounds, five of them offensive. Uh, Brady Robinson with 12, five for Byron Tackett, four for Andrew Kidd, three for Cameron Pente, two for Carter Parsons, one for Isaiah Allen and Tanner Martin with four. Betsy Lane was nine for 12 from the free throw line. Prestonsburg, four for eight. Um, just about on their uh, season yes. average, Betsy Lane averages 70 points or 70% from the foul line as a team, and Prestonsburg, 59. So they're yeah. both of them shooting about what, what it was. But Andrew Kidd, only four points, comes in averaging 18, but he's been manhandled that way. Yes. It's going to be interesting to see how not only the game's called, but how the players react to those calls. Yes. But, you know, you've got uh, – you had a comment earlier. They better get control of it early in the third quarter because, yes. um, I mean, this some the season's on the, on the line here. And if you don't get that under control, you don't want to see anything get out of hand here 
um, anybody lose their cool. So uh, exactly we, we have right. seen some um, situations where people have got fouled pretty hard. Yes, you have, we have. So 31-30 at the half, Betsy Lane. We'll send it back to the station. When we return, we'll have the second half action. This is Red Mountain Sports Network. Parkview Pharmacy in Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Back here at Lawrence County, we've not settled a whole lot. One point game. You're right. Uh, and both teams with a player with three fouls, and both players with a couple of players with two fouls. So, might get to see how deep the benches is right now. Yeah, I, I think that benefits Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg played eight players that first half, and I think Betsy Lane played seven. I think Tanner Martin and uh, Allen was the two uh, substitutes in from yeah. Lane, and looks like the Bobcats are going to have it to get this third quarter started. So, Crucial to get a good start here for both teams. The only thing I can say, just tighten up your seatbelt. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Got a viewer out of Sevierville, Tennessee, Mr. Robbie Roberts tuning in watching tonight's game. Robbie's a big fan of the Betsy Lane Dairy Bar. Oh, that get, sounds good. Has to get that foot long every time he comes in from Tennessee. Betsy Lane working. Starting lineup back on the floor. Parsons, three out of the corner. No good. And rebound. Prestonsburg gets the tie up, and Prestonsburg will have it. But that's a, yeah, that's a good tie up yeah. because that arrow will go in Betsy Lane's favor now, and that was 15 seconds into the yep. third quarter. And you got a shot at it. You got a shot at getting it to start the fourth quarter if you don't have a tie-up before then. In the corner, here's Allen, 15-foot baseline, no good. And rebound, Salisbury. Halbert with the shot, no good. Pressburg with another rebound. Allen blocked by Robinson. And Tackett comes off the rebound. Boy, Pressburg had three yeah, good looks at it. Good looks. Just couldn't get it to fall. And in the first half, those shots yeah, were falling. They did. So we'll see how that works out here in this second half. Over to Robinson, fakes the three on the baseline, shot no good. And Kidd couldn't control it. Pressburg does. That's Halbert with it. And Salisbury now in the front court. Bates Lane into man-to-man -man defense. Keithley, three. No good. Robson high for the rebound. Gives it over to Parsons. Fires the three. Yes. Big. He caught that one in rhythm, stepped into it, and it looked good, and it was good. 34-30. Is that uh, – that's Carter's first three-pointer, I think. He yes, had one that's the first right three-pointer of the game for Bates Lane. And ball knocked loose, picked up by Prestonsburg. Halbert with it, looking for help now. And he'll get it in the front court. Napier, Keithley drives to the bucket and can't get the roll. 
Pente has it. Robinson on the baseline, shot up, no good. The rebound comes off Connor Napier. Prestonsburg on the move. Keithley in the lane. Free throw jumper. Good. 34-32. Parsons with it for Betsy Lane in the front court. Now Pente will get it. Come out. Prestonsburg in that 2-3 zone. Betsy Lane hit a couple of three-pointers. They did maybe bring them out of that zone. Parsons. Back in the corner to Robinson. Head and ooh, spin move goes to the floor and he has it taken away from him. On the other end, here's Keithley. Gets it back out on top. Salisbury three, no good. Byron Tackett comes off the rebound. Dodged the bullet. They did. Prestonsburg's had three or had four numbers. good looks at. Yeah. Had numbers. Betsy Lane on the other end. Robinson over to Pente. Oh, man. That's uh, four. Byron Tackett, they got him for the block. Tanner Martin will come in for him, and as Justin said, that's four. Prestonsburg in the backcourt with it. Now they get it in front court. Allen, three. No good. And Robinson again with the rebound. On the move. Free throw line jumper, good. Brady Robinson might have to put a team on his back right yeah. now. 36-32. On the other end, Halbert drives right to the rim, puts it up and in. His first basket. Parsons driving to the bucket. And contact, nothing called, ball out of bounds off from Prestonsburg. Yeah, they get landed on it. Betsy Lane will keep it. Here's Pente with it. Robinson, three. Yes, Brady Robinson. You can't give him that good a look. No. Nobody on him. He just catches yeah. and shoots. He's in rhythm when he does that. Here's Hobart driving down the lane and shot up and comes off. Salisbury. Excuse me, Salisbury. I seen the four, but uh, yeah, it had yeah. a one with it, didn't it? 39-34, yeah. <laughs> bets in lane for five. Robs Pente. Carter be ready to shoot over here. Tanner Martin had a look out of the corner, didn't want it. Bets in lane being very patient this time. And Parsons with the three up and good. Carter Parsons heating up. And hits 42-34. A 30-second timeout called by Betsy Lane. 350 left third quarter. Yeah, I felt that one for Carter there. You hit his last one. <clears throat> Just kind of moving over. Well, giving them that shot, that zone. They've been there. Yeah, that's what uh, I was, uh, you know, mentioned earlier. They... Didn't hit a three-pointer in the first half, and yeah. then they've got three here in this third quarter. Yeah, and, you know, Prestonburg's kind of went to that zone, and, you know, that may be something that you might want to get out of now. I mean, they've hit three threes. Well, as long as Betsy Lane wasn't hitting the threes, they would have been right. able to, that zone was packing it in, shutting uh, Kid down, down low. But if they start uh, yeah. hitting the threes, uh, they're going to have to spread it out or, like you say, go man-to-man, -man, change to a different defense. Restenberg has it, bring the length of floor. Here's Keatley with it, looking for help. Still looking for help. Gets it in the front court, Allen. Lawson three, no good. Rebound comes off Parsons. Same shot's not falling this half. Yeah. Parsons down low. Martin shot no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up, no good. And Lawson comes out with it for Betsy, or for Prestonsburg. He'll take it down the lane, puts it up and in. Quickly on the other end, Parsons three, no. And Martin battling for it. Prestonsburg comes up with it. Grant Barney into the lineup. He has three fouls. Allen in the corner. Keithley three, no. And Tanner Martin comes off the rebound. 
fast pace action. Nobody yes. getting it in the bucket right now. We're under three minutes here in the third quarter. There's Parsons, three. No, Robinson cleans it up and goes back up. No good. Gets it again, puts it up and in. Benson Lane went to work on the offensive glass that time. Barney to Napier, no good, but he'll go to the line for two. 2.32 left third quarter, Benson Lane by eight, 44-36. And if you're Benson Lane, you might want Prestonsburg on the foul line. Yeah, very true. Napier makes that one. I mean, he's two of five from the yes. line now. Gets his team to within seven. Second one up, and it's too long, and Brady Robinson comes off the rebound. Robinson's probably getting close to 10 rebounds. Yes, yes. Robinson working over in the corner to go. Pente, he's going to fire up the three. No good. Keithley clears the board for Prestonsburg. Gives it to Barney. Martin Ooh. knocks it loose. Might have got a walk on that yeah. scoop across the floor. Here's Barney in the corner. Lawson on the drive, and Kid blocks it, and then Lawson comes up with the, re uh, the foul. First foul caught on yeah. Prestonsburg. Yeah, only three fouls. Yeah. So far. And the first, first half we had, I think, 20. Yeah. Forty-four thirty-seven, Betsy Lane down low. Tanner Martin. Oh, Ooh. rims out. Had the look, just couldn't get it to drop. Here's Keithley with it. And Pente's gonna be called for the foul. That's Betsy Lane's third. Pente's second. Number four. Halbert back in line up for Prestonsburg. Connor Napier to the bucket puts it up and in. 44-39, Betsy Lane by five. Prestonsburg is in a, a box and one now, uh, Justin. Parsons top the circle, three, no good. And Prestonsburg comes out with it. They got the chaser on yeah. rocks. <clears throat> Somebody's going to have to score. Here's Halbert with it. Dan knocked loose. Comes back up with it. Keithley on the drive to the bucket. Shot up and in. Prestonsburg has got it down to three. Betsy Lane had an eight-point lead just a short time ago. Pente in the corner. Martin. Here's Kidd with it. Rob or Parsons breaking to the bucket, puts it up and in. Good pass. And here's Keithley quickly on the other end. Napier in the corner. Holbert fires the three. Count it. And that's usually not his forte. No. He, he usually takes it to the bucket on the drive. Good rhythm, though. 46-44. Tanner Martin for three out of the corner. And nobody for Betsy Lane no. under the bucket at all. And Brady Robinson called for the foul. Seven seconds left here in the quarter. 46-44. Prestonsburg will have a chance to tie it or take a lead with the three. Barney has it. Martin on him. Barney working. Don't know if they know it. Long shot at the horn. No. And at the end of three, Betsy Lane, 46-44 over Prestonsburg. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action this Renamount Sports Network. 
I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here in Pikeville. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our client. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, Back here at Lawrence County, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 15 to 14 that quarter. Betsy Lane outscores Prestonsburg by one. Got the two point lead, got to hang and, on tight. And, and what did we talk about at the start of that half? They had the tie up. Yes, Prestonsburg uh, yeah. had it. They had the rebound. Betsy Lane tied them up, and then Betsy Lane will get it to start the fourth quarter. Robinson with it. Prestonsburg in a man to man now. Byron Tackett back into the game. A nice break uh, to the bucket. Robinson puts it up, misses it. Looked like he got hit. Yep. No call. Prestonsburg has it. Here is Keithley on the drive. Baseline jumper. Rose Ooh. in and out. Boy, that was halfway yeah. down. Should be worth a point. Betsy Lane with it in the front court. Robinson. I think you should go to Andrew here. He's got Barney on him with three fouls. Got a viewer from Portage, Wisconsin. Looking in. Rooting on Tanner Martin. And that foul was on Stidham. Stidham. Down low, Andrew Kidd working. That's only the second team foul for Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane with four. Here's Parsons gets it in to Kidd. Tack it. Open drive to the bucket. Dad. He's going to be fouled. And that's going to go against Stenham. Three on him. And three on the team. And we got a 30-second timeout. 7-16 left. The winner will punch their ticket for the championship game Thursday night. And also next week at the Appalachian Wireless Arena in the 15th region. So just like we talked before, Justin, these semi-final game has got a lot more drama in them a lot of times than the championship game yeah i mean you, to, if you make it to thursday you're on house money yeah but here all the nerves all the free throws everything is just amplified yes i'm sure uh, coach newsom's got to play here because every bucket's huge yeah and I'm sure he wants an easy one right here if he can get it. Well, he's got Parsons is lined up on the right side of the lane to throw it in. He's got all four of his players on the left side. Now they'll get into the break. Comes out to pin tape. Here's Kid with it on the drive to the baseline. Fakes puts it up. No good. He's fouled. Foul on number five. Allen. That's Allen. It's his first. And might look to see uh, Coach Newsom telling his players to take it to the rim. Yeah. Try to get to the foul line. Kid makes the first. 47-44. He's got one more. 7-0-9 left. Makes them both. And Betsy Lane's, you know, one, two, two. It's going to be a half-court <laughs> trap now, looks like. That's what the timeout was for. And here they get it into the front court. Varney with it for Prestonsburg. Keithley, long three, no good. Run down in the corner by Robinson. Uh, I don't know. He didn't move his foot. He didn't move both feet. And they called him for the walk. Ooh. Well. 
questionable calls both ways here tonight yes, in his yeah. first game. Yeah. Prestonsburg with it. There's Stenham with it. Keithley. And there is Ooh. the turnover. Yep. Off of Keithley's hands. And good defense that time by Parsons as he tipped the pass. Keithley couldn't control it out of bounds. Ooh, lucky there. Yes. <clears throat> Robinson, front court, Betts Lane. Down in the corner to Parsons. Got He's looking look. inside to Kid. Yeah. Now they get it to him. Oh. And he loses it. Boy, he had him uh, posted up on the block, just couldn't handle the pass. Here's a steal. Parsons. And he puts it in on the other end. Big second half for Parsons. 50 44. Betsy Lane's lead out to six. Six minutes to go. You can feel the tension picking yeah. up. Yeah. Keithley three, no. Battle for the rebound, and Tackett comes off with it for Prestonsburg and gets mauled and finally gets fouled. Fisher on the other side of the floor because yeah. got one looking at it right here. Yeah. Not, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, Lordy. Don't like to talk about the fish. I been out there a lot of times myself, but yeah. you have to call what you see. Yeah. Yeah. Parsons with it in front court for Betsy Lane. Robinson comes out and get it. That's Halbert on him. Robinson down the lane, shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up, no good. Out of bounds to Betsy Lane. <clears throat> this is a big stop or score. Yeah. Either way, six-point lead. 534 left. And here's Kid right at the rim. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up. No good. Pressburg comes off with it. Halbert. Down the lane to Napier, and he misses it. And both teams, yeah, both, coaches, yeah, both coaches, uh, you know, on to the officials because it looked like Napier got hit. It looked like Robinson oh, and Kidd got hit. So <clears throat> this is the stall. This is the, the stall offense right here. Now Carter will come out. I mean, it, this is yeah. letting it out. Betsy Lane's trying to take yeah. that air out of some up pressure. Now Brady's going to come out. I mean, it's. Prestonburg with five team fouls. Now they're going to go. Tack it three out of the corner. Oh. Right in and out. And Ooh. Barney comes up with it. Knocked loose and Kid puts it up and in. Huge. Eight-point lead, Betsy Lane. On the other end, there's Halbert throwing it across over to Keithley. Baseline jumper, good. And Prestonburg wants a timeout. It's going to be a full. 419 left, Betsy Lane by six. This is your In About Sports Network. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Back at Lawrence County, a six-point lead for Betsy Lane. That's about as high as it's been. It's been seven and maybe eight. 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 They had eight Here in the second lead. half. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Where they had an eight-point lead just for that last bucket. Yeah, and you know, th this is the time you got to make your free throws. No offensive rebounds. You got to get dialed in here. Four nineteen to go. Somebody's going home tonight. Yes. 
and they coming back on Thursday. And Prestonsburg comes out, and they're setting up <laughs> in full court pressure. Looks to be man to man. Prestonsburg, no, or Betsy Lane, no problem with it. As Pente gets in the front court, here's Robinson. Parsons in the corner, back out on top, Pente. Looking for Kid down low, nothing there, and that's a smart move to yeah. get back out. And Allen knocks it out from behind, behind Pente. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane. We're under four minutes. Parsons. He'll get it in to Kid. Andrew down the lane, kicks it back out. Parsons, three in the air. County. He's got Carter 13. Parsons, the freshman, has stepped up big here in the second half. He's got 13 in the second half, 15 for the game. And that's Betsy Lane's largest lead at 9, 55-46. Down low, Halbert shot no good, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to be Byron Tackett. It's five. And that's going to be all for him. Tanner Martin off the bench to replace him. That's going to send Halbert to the line for two free throws. Has he been there tonight? Uh, no. 55-46, Betsy Lane by nine. Make it eight as Halbert makes the free throw. 334 left. It's crunch time, folks. Yes. Albert with one more, comes up short, gets his own rebound, shot up, and in. He ends up with a three-point play. And here's Kidd, beautiful pass to Martin, puts it up and in. Betsy Lane looking good on the break that yeah. time. They're a tough team to press. Here's Keithley, back out to Barney. Keithley drives the baseline, kicks it back out. And Preston Burke, Barney, throw to shoulder, and nothing called, puts it in. On the other end, here's Robinson, and he'll go to the bucket, and there's going to be a block called, and Robinson at the line for two. That's going to be on Napier. He hits third. And that's six team fouls for Prestonsburg. Robinson have two. It'll be one and one from here on out. And Brady Robinson misses the free throw. 253 left. Betsy Lane by six. Gotta have this. This one's not over by a long no, shot. No. Robinson makes the second. Gets it on that odd number. 58-51. Betsy Lane in the 1-2-2 two, two half-court trap, slowing Prestonsburg up. And here's Keithley trapped in the corner. goes long, and nice save Ooh. that time by Allen. Yes. And he fires the three out of the corner. No good. Tanner Martin with the rebound. Gotta go easy. And Coach Newsom saying, hold it up. Here's Robinson, and he's fouled. See who they get. Of Allen. Allen, number five. He is third. He is third, 17 fouls, one and one. Robson just split a pair the last time there. Make these two get it back out tonight. 2.25 to go. Makes first is up and good. Robinson will have one more. And the second one, not so good. Back to nine, 60 51. Time coming short for Prestonsburg down to 220. Betsy Lane, a lot of pressure, not letting them get in their offense. Here's Halbert with it. He trapped in the corner, knocked loose, Ooh. and a foul's called, but that's only six on Betsy Lane, so it will be no shots. To be three on Brady. Coach Newsom saying, All right, you got six fouls now. Play defense, no fouling. Yeah. 
Just make them use the clock. Yes. Well, they they used uh, over uh, 25 seconds that time on it. Here's Allen, three out of the corner. Good. And timeout, Prestonsburg. It's a 30. 60 54, 201 left. Bates and Lane will have the basketball. They lead for six. Yeah, the, the problem <coughs> is you're going to have to get up full court, and I don't know if that's really benefits you very much. Right. Gary. And Prestonburg, that leaves them with just one timeout left. Yeah, I, I probably would let that one go a little bit longer, uh, but <coughs> Chase must have something in mind that he's. He's looking at it here, but they can only stop the clock one more time. One more time with the timeout. You're right. And then uh, other than that, it'd be a foul. They've got 17 fouls, so they can put Betsy Lane at the line one and one three different times. Of course, Betsy Lane, as we said earlier, shoots it at a 70% clip from a team, and that's a pretty good uh, yes. percentage. Here's Parsons looking to get it in. Comes in to Pente. And Pente breaks into the front court. Now he'll hold it up. Parsons with it for Betsy Lane. Keithley on him. Robinson comes over and gets it. Back to Parsons. Kid. Betsy Lane's got the floor spread. All five players outside the arc. And foul on the drive. Keithley. Carter Parsons will go to the line one and one. The freshman's been big here in the second half, but nothing he's made is no bigger than these free throws right now. That's right. And rose the first one in. 61-54, 140 left. The winner on to the championship game Thursday night and a berth in the 15th region. Parsons makes them both. It's big. Back to eight. Three possession ball game. Betts Lane's going to stay in that 1-2-2 two, two half-court trap. And that's forcing Prestonburg use time. Keithley, free throw line good. Here's Parsons to Pente. Betts Lane had numbers with him on them, but they they want time off the clock. Prestonburg can't uh, uh, match them no. on points. They're going to have to have a stop. 105, Kid with Parsons in the corner, and Parsons will go back to the line again. Caden Allen with the foul. It'll be four. He is fourth. Another 101 opportunity for Parsons. 103 left. Parsons sinks it. He's been there a time or two in the middle school. They played a lot oh, of middle yeah. school ball and <coughs> through the summer. Yeah, Carter plays a lot of basketball. And he makes them both, and it'll be two shots from here on out for Betsy Lane because that's 19 fouls Prestonsburg. We've got a timeout. It's going to be a full 103 left. Betsy Lane by eight. This is about the Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time for recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. 103 to go. Eight-point lead for Betsy Lane. Closing it out at the free throw line. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from the foul line. <clears throat> That'll get it done. 
Nine out of ten and, times. And and <laughs> for, yeah, and four uh, four for four for the freshman. Yes. Here's Hobart. Allen three comes up short. Parsons with the rebound. Kid, and he's going to be fouled. And if that's Caden Allen, that's his field. Yep. Allen just a sophomore. And Andrew Kidd will be at the line, and it's going to be two shots from here on out as that's a double bonus for Prestonsburg. I don't think they gave it to Allen. Oh, didn't he? Number three. They gave it to number three, center. Kidd makes the free throw and nine-point lead. If he makes this one, it'd be the first double-digit lead of the game, either team. And he does. And looks like Salisbury, Lawson, number zero would be uh, Casey Mead coming in for Prestonsburg. Also number, let's see, yeah, that was it, three subs. 49 seconds left. 66-56, Betsy Lane, Lawson with the three, no good. Parsons with the rebound, Pente with it. And Keithley fouls him. Pente will be at the line shooting two. 39.5 seconds left. What a great game to start yes. uh, tonight between the 58th District Boys Tournament. And if you like this one, yeah. stay tuned yeah. for the next one got Lawrence County and Floyd Central. They split during the regular season. Lawrence County winning here. Floyd Central winning at third place. And it's going to get loud and rowdy in here that second game. Barney with the runner in the lane for Prestonsburg. 67-56, 33 seconds left. We've got a full timeout. Parkview Pharmacy in Minnie is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. Take the short drive to satisfaction to Tim Short Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hyundai in Pikeville for your next car, truck, or SUV. Now offering lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles and lifetime engine warranty on pre-owned vehicles. Over 300 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock and six franchises in one location. Don't forget our pre-owned superstore at the entrance. Of and Parson steps out of bounds. He'll get it into Pente and Lawson fails him. So Pente will go to the line for two and... Classy move by Coach Parsley for Prestonsburg. He's got four seniors on the team, and he took some of his starters out, and they're letting the four seniors finish this one out, uh, as well as uh, the eighth grader, Keithley. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you're ending your career. Yeah. I mean, you know, so. Pente misses the first free throw. Yeah, credit to Coach Parsley there. And Betsy Lane now will empty their bench. And see if we've got all the numbers uh, named. <clears throat> Number 23 coming in, Andrew Collins. Yes. Number 33, uh, Gavin Cone. Yes. Number 15 would be Luke Thacker. Yes. Pente at the line. And who's the other one? Number 24, that's Reese Music. Uh, music. Pente misses them both. Here's Barney. And shot no good by Salisbury. Foul on Prestonsburg. Andrew Collins will go to the line. Collins is seventh grader. Yes. 19 seconds left. Betsy Lane by nine. Collins shot up and rims out. 
And now Prestonsburg clearing the bench. See if we got all those players. Number 34, Cade Naren. Number 10 is Josh Allen. See, uh, get the numbers. Number 30, 34. I got 34. That's Naren. 40, okay. 45, uh, Caden Lewis. As Collins makes the second one. And number 24, and we don't have a 24 for Preston's first. If you're out there listening, let us know who it is. Here's a steal and a foul. 11 seconds left. Betsy Lane's Isaiah Allen will go to the line. And got a, went, got, a, got a proud uh, grandpa uh, <clears throat> giving us said Andrew Collins is his other grandson. Oh, well, there you go. And the other one besides Andrew is Carter Parsons. Had a pretty good game. Had a pretty good game. 69-58. Eight seconds left. Here's the three. No good. Battle for the rebound. And that's going to do it. Betsy Lane with a big second half comes away with the 11 point lead as they outscore Prestonsburg by 10 here in the second half. 69 58 Bobcats, they punched their ticket for the championship game Thursday night and secures a berth in the 15th region next week. We're going to send it back to the station. Be back with some final stats and comments as you're in about Sports Network. Life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Sixty-nine fifty-eight final here in tonight's first game, boys fifty-eight district tournament. Betsy Lane outscores Prestonsburg by ten as it was a one-point lead to half, and yes. move on to the championship game Thursday night. And Justin, just about what we expected, right? Yeah, it came right down to it. I mean, both teams played hard. Um, <clears throat> just Betsy Lane made their free throws and kind of made all the plays down the stretch to get the win. Well, they these. These two teams played three times this year. You had a 10-point, 11-point, and a 12-point win for Betsy Lane. Yeah, it was uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, All righty, just uh, give us some final numbers. Yeah, uh, Prestonsburg led it scoring by Braxton Keithley with 23. 10 points for Caden Allen, 8 for Brian Halbert, 6 for Connor Napier, 4 for Caleb Lawson, 6 for Grant Barney, and one for West Salisbury. They were six for 12 from the free throw line. Had them with nine turnovers, which they cleaned that up. Yes. Just couldn't make the shots. Right. Um, had them with six offensive rebounds, 28 rebounds total. Uh, Betsy Lane with 38 rebounds, 10 of them offensive. Um, 22 points for Brady. Carter with big 19 points. Big 19. Um, Andrew Kidd with 10. Byron Taggett with five, Pente with four, six for Tanner Martin, 
and two for Isaiah Allen. And they were 23 for 32 from the free throw line. And at one point, they were 12 for – or 13 for 14 from the free throw line. And then they, you know, the well, they, they, missed they missed a some late, but it yeah. was, uh, a lot of it was a substitution. After they already took care of when, business. When, when it counted, as yeah. you said, it was 10 of 12 from the foul line when Prestonsburg was fouling, putting yeah. them on the line on the one and one. Betsy Lane had three one-on-one situations, no, four. Yeah, made them all. And made all of the uh, foul shots on the one and one yeah. So that's going to wrap it up. Here for us tonight in tonight's first game. Again, 69-58, Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg. We'll send it back to the station. We'll be back shortly with the pregame of tonight's second game. And it should be just as good as the first one. Lawrence County, Freud Central, this year in the Mountain Sports Network. <laughs> 